Well, good afternoon. This is Dave Jones with Storm Center Communications and Geo Collaborate. It's Saturday, October 19th, 2024. And this is a tropical update for the Sensitive Information Sharing Environment and the All Hazards Consortium, uh, where we share information between private sector liaisons within emergency operations centers of state emergency operations and also the private sector so we can move uh, materials and get services into areas that need it. Uh, while disasters are threatening and post disaster for post disaster recovery. Uh, well, remember yesterday we were talking about two potential tropical systems. Today we have two tropical systems. We have Tropical Storm Nadine, which is in the Western Caribbean, and we have Tropical Storm Oscar, uh, which is impacting the Turks and Caicos Islands right now. Uh, we're going to take a look at both of those uh, very closely. Uh, you can see with the larger circulation down here, uh, this is Nadine. And Nadine has actually made landfall. At 11 o'clock, it was deemed a tropical storm. And by about 1 o'clock, just about an hour ago, it was moving inland. Uh, I have some uh, closer uh, pictures of that here. Uh, this is the GOES one minute imagery and you can see the circulation has kind of moved inland uh, but we actually have video uh, that was sent in uh, by Gloria Kane uh, here on uh, what's called San Pedro Ambergris K and I want to show you that video let's take a look at it this was just moments ago sent in uh, by Gloria and uh, this is GeoCollaborate on the left-hand side of your screen. And I just want to show you, this is the area where the video was taken. Uh, this is the uh, Isla Bonita Yacht Club. And uh, Gloria has reported heavy winds and rain are hitting the island hard here. Uh, transformers are blowing, power lines are done, and some heavy flooding around the area. Uh, we have storm surge that's uh, coming in as well. So notice that the center of the storm is to the south of uh, San Pedro uh, Ambergris K. And so the winds are blowing hard inland, in uh, onshore. So creating quite a bit of uh, action down there in Belize. And uh, the storm is forecast to move through Belize uh, into Guatemala and then into the southwestern parts of Mexico before it uh, emerges over the Pacific Ocean. It may regenerate as well. Uh, but this is the path, and you can see the video there. Strong winds. Hurricane Center has uh, Tropical Storm Nadine at 50 mile per hour winds uh, at 11 o'clock, moving west at 7 miles per hour. Now I want to jump up to um, good old Tropical Storm Oscar. And uh, this is Oscar. This is the one minute satellite imagery from the GOES satellite orbiting 22,300 miles up in geostationary orbit. Look at these thunderstorms. Uh, folks, this thing is uh, getting serious here. It's uh, wanting to develop into a hurricane. Uh, the National Hurricane Center at 11 o'clock with its advisory number one had winds of 40 miles per hour. Looking at this, it's like, wow, that looks a little bit more mature than that. Uh, U.S. Air Force Hurricane Hunter aircraft at 1 o'clock flew through the storm and found 70 mile per hour winds. So we almost have a hurricane here impacting the southern Turks and Caicos Islands. As a matter of fact, uh, this particular island uh, right down here, this uh, little one, uh, I believe that is the uh, Balfour town and then uh, Cockburn town is just to the north uh, in this island here. And so uh, we're going to be monitoring this. Uh, both of these islands here do, do have population. So uh, they're getting uh, some strong winds and heavy rains that are going to be increasing uh, over the next uh, couple of hours here. Uh, in Cockburn Town, and then the uh, little island to the south, which is actually Salt K, but where uh, Balfour Town uh, is also located. And then a little bit further uh, to the northwest, uh, we have uh, uh, East uh, Caicos uh, Island and Middle Caicos. Uh, that's uh, up uh, in this direction here, and uh, Cat Island as well. So, uh, it looks like, and I can take you over to, to GeoCollaborate and show you both of these systems here 
uh, full screen and show you what the forecast looks like from the National Hurricane Center. Uh, this is a tropical storm Oscar. And, you know, we talked over the last couple of days about Oscar getting whisked up in those westerly winds uh, with a strong trough of low pressure. Uh, but it looks like uh, the winds here were light enough. It did not pro provide enough wind shear. And uh, the storm finally found conducive atmospheric conditions to strengthen. And it certainly has uh, sea surface temperatures uh, that are well um, uh, that are well within the range of tropical system development. And uh, while I'm talking here, I'm just going to add the, the sea surface temperature data once again on the GOES uh, imagery just to show you uh, what that looks like. And, and so here is Oscar uh, that's here uh, north of um, Hispaniola. And uh, here is Nadine making landfall. But you can see this whole area of red. They are sea surface temperatures 83 degrees and above. 83 and above. So it has plenty of temperature to work with. And now it has some atmospheric uh, conditions, light winds, low shear, uh, to enable this uh, to get a little bit um, more intense. So we're talking about a 70 mile per hour uh, wind uh, within the system and you can see in the circulation here that's how small it is but there are stronger winds uh, this coming this way which are not going to let this uh, system move too much further to the north matter of fact it's going to drive the system south a little bit and then as the forecast period goes ahead it's going to turn up and get picked up uh, by that trough of low pressure and here's what it looks like on the satellite imagery once again those thunderstorms look pretty intense and the circulation looks pretty pronounced now uh, where we could have a hurricane in the next uh, six hours or so with 70 mile per hour winds being reported right now. But back to GeoCollaborate, I want to show you the forecast here. Uh, this is called the best track. This is the National Hurricane Center uh, tracking where the center of circulation was. It was pretty obvious. It was a, it was a pretty... A well-defined low pressure system just didn't have any tropical uh, and convective uh, characteristics to it to become a tropical storm. But now it is. This is Oscar moving, expected to move to the southwest. And now look at this with an update with the hurricane center. They now have it strengthening to a hurricane. Look at this. So we expect a hurricane, Hurricane Oscar, to be impacting the Turks and Caicos Islands with winds of 85 miles per hour by 8 o'clock tonight. 8 o'clock tonight. This thing is undergoing, undergoing some rapid intensification here with the lighter winds and little shear. Uh, so 85 mile per hour winds by tonight. Uh, by tomorrow, we're talking about 85 mile per hour winds with wind gusts to 105 miles per hour. This is advisory two. It was a special advisory at two o'clock from the National Hurricane Center uh, issued here, and they updated uh, the strength of the forecast for Oscar. Now expected to become a hurricane, and it looks like we're going to see winds uh, perhaps in Oscar. Uh, getting up to 85 miles per hour. And then as it gets close to uh, the uh, shoreline of Cuba, actually making landfall, we're talking here 80 miles per hour, weakening somewhat as it gets closer uh, to, the, to Cuba, getting influence of the land and perhaps some drier air getting in there, but then becoming a tropical storm over land. And then look at this, slowing down, and that's where it makes its turn. So I'll back out here a little bit. This is where it's expected to make its turn, come back and impact uh, these islands within uh, the Bahamas. So we're talking about Crooked Island, uh, Acklands Island, uh, Long Cay here being impacted uh, on the eastern side of Tropical Storm Oscar. But in the meantime, it's expected to become a hurricane here in the next uh, several hours, maybe the next couple of hours, since it had 70 mile per hour winds, uh, as measured by the U.S. Air Force Hurricane Hunter aircraft uh, just a couple of hours ago. So here it is, forecast to go up uh, into this direction, so be no threat 
to the United States, uh, but it will generate wave action that will be uh, uh, headed towards South Florida uh, and then remaining a tropical storm uh, as it heads up in this area uh, by October 23rd. So that's by uh, Tuesday uh, next week. Uh, we're seeing it as a tropical storm, uh, at least right now, and then getting absorbed into the westerlies and actually becoming a mid-latitude cyclone, not to impact the United States. Uh, but uh, we do have a chance of it um, kicking up more waves on the East Coast. Now, uh, one thing I do want to show you, I'll show you the model forecast here. Um, and this is the GFS model uh, that was initialized uh, here at 12Z this morning. Uh, that's about uh, 8 o'clock uh, this morning. And I'm just going to step through some of these forecast periods. And you can see right here, this is Nadine. And here is Oscar, this little circulation here. Just to show you what the model does uh, with these two systems as we step through time. Now here's, uh, here's Nadine over southern Mexico and uh, then regenerating over the Pacific a little bit later. And uh, here is uh, Oscar heading towards uh, the eastern tip of Cuba on a southwest uh, journey here. Uh, and then you can see that it kind of slows down, slows down, and then gets picked up. By the way, I'll go back one forecast time. Uh, here, here's Nadine again regenerating as a tropical system. We'll be watching this uh, to see what the Hurricane Center does with it. Typically, it would keep the same name if it, re if it uh, remained a name storm. Uh, uh, but I believe if it goes down to a depression or loses its name uh, and then regenerates, it would get a new name. Uh, we'll see what happens on that one. But you can see here's Oscar, and this is by uh, 12Z Tuesday, so about 8 o'clock in the morning Tuesday. Uh, but look how it gets picked up and regenerates all the way up here. And that is by Wednesday evening as a extra tropical storm. So this is just basically a low pressure system out in the ocean. Uh, it has frontal characteristics uh, and then will start to generate some waves uh, on the East Coast. South Carolina, North Carolina, Outer Banks, Maryland, Delaware, Virginia, uh, coastlines. Uh, could see some more uh, rip current advisories uh, by mid to late week uh, next week. So uh, that is what it looks like for right now. A little bit of excitement here. There's the sea surface temperatures for you uh, as we watch Nadine moving inland uh, in uh, Belize and also tropical storm, soon to be hurricane Oscar. We may issue another update later today, uh, but certainly we'll have one during the day tomorrow. This has been a tropical update for the All Hazards Consortium, sensitive information sharing environment. Thanks so much for watching this update. We'll have another one tomorrow, um, maybe one later tonight. Let's see what Oscar does. Uh, but in the meantime, please uh, take care of yourself and also take care of your neighbors.